But here's the question we all really want to know. How wide is this thing? What are you saying? You need a top! I need to stop what? You need a top. You're, you're, you're a top! Yeah. Hey, these are my glasses.
You wanna, hey, I need you to help me put this bumper on, okay? Okay, man. two bolts to build it together. And then maybe some other stuff, but definitely. That is great. That is a great idea. <laughs> Thanks. Here, you want to hold these for me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. See that one? I'm trying to make this line up. Let's go over a little bit. Can I 
I got a monkey on me. Hold on. I got scoot over. Hey, you fell off. All right, there you go. Go. Here, let's put it on this side. It'll be easier. Okay, go. Uh, here, let me hold it on there. So I've got this huge gap here uh, that I can't really adjust away. I can get it close, but it still doesn't really look right. So I made this little sheet metal piece, and it's just going to sit right here and bolt on so that I have this kind of thing to seal up that gap. I'll paint it a different color, so it'll be obvious that it's just some kind of like trim piece or whatever, but I think it's going to look pretty good, and it fits really well. I'm going to attach it with these screw, what are they called? screw and post kind of aluminum screws. You can get them at any hardware store. They're really great, um, but they just sandwich the two pieces together. I may have to cut this one down a little bit, but we'll see. Another benefit of this is my well nuts aren't really wanting to hold on, which is kind of frustrating, but uh, this will help hold the side skirt in because I'm going to bolt it in also, or I guess screw it in inside of here to the actual fender itself. So that should hold my side skirt on a lot better than these well nuts are doing. Don't get well nuts. I don't like them. I mean, I guess you can get them if you want to. I don't like them. I've used both well and riv. Don't like the well nuts. I'm going to stick with riv nuts from now on. All right. So next one. That's my rant. seals up that gap and helps this flow it's a simple solution obviously but it's effective so I'm cool with it
right, so the headlights are in. I went ahead and hit them with stage one of the HR kit to try to clear them up a little bit. They're gonna need probably a full like sanding and repolish um, with that kit. So I'll do that whenever I kind of do the final deep clean of this car. But for now, that was good enough just to clean them up so that it didn't look terrible with the car put together. So the front end is basically done. I've got more to do on the front bumper. You'll notice there's some overspray and stuff that I've got to clean up here. Um, and I've got kind of what I'm calling stage three of the DIY front bumper. Um, and uh, I'll be doing that on its own video. So more is coming with this, so you're gonna notice some issues, flaws, whatever. It's gonna get fixed. Headlights are in, I'm gonna go do the tail lights, and then I've got this other side skirt to finish, and we will be done. Okay, so that is it. This thing is finally assembled, it has taken a ridiculous amount of time but it's back together and I'm so stoked to see it all put together you'll notice some stuff's kind of not tied up I've got a few more things I've got to do but it's ready to be driven which is a big deal the problem that you'll notice is it's kind of sitting up on jack stands right now well wheels but using them as jack stands the reason for that is I wanted to change the transmission pan gasket and filter and so I wanted to do that before we ever took it out for a drive the old one leaked a little bit so this is just gonna tidy that up and fix it and we won't have to worry about it again the only problem is, like I said, I am leaving for Colorado, so I can't drive it right now, but I still got it together, and when I get back home, the first thing I'm gonna do is drive it. So that video is coming. Once it's driving, we'll livery it up, we'll tune it, we'll send it on its way. We are getting really, really close to the end, and this is just such a great, <laughs> it's such a great moment. Like, I never thought it was gonna get here. Um, but anyway, so a couple things that you guys probably have noticed already, maybe you've commented, the front bumper has a few more things I've got to do to it to kind of finish it up and make it look like a finished piece. Um, I think I've got everything trimmed out. It's got to get welded, but I have to drive it to the spot where we're going to weld it. So that's why I haven't welded any of the back fenders or doors or anything like that. That'll get welded, but I just have to get the car to where we're going to weld it. Hardware I thought was stainless steel, it's actually not, so it's rusting. So I'm going to have to get new hardware, which is okay. We can do that. I'll, I'll order that, and it'll be in by the time I get back. So just little odds and ends. I probably won't video all of that stuff, but I will post it on Instagram. So if you don't follow me, go follow me at Built on YouTube on Instagram. I've seen a lot of new people there lately, so that's pretty cool. Um, but that's where I'm going to update kind of the small stuff that I may not put into an actual big video. But here's the question we all really want to know. How wide is this thing? It's going to be kind of an approximation because I'm by myself. But I'll get it close. All right, so what I did, it's actually not. You guys agree with that? Yeah, that looks right. Pull it tight. 76 and three quarters inches. That's six feet. Ooh, I'm bad at math, guys. Six foot four. And some change. That's really wide. I think that's actually wider than the R8. I think we finally did it. We built an Audi wider than the R8. Um, I want to say it's 74 and a half. I looked it up once because that was my goal. 76 and three quarter inches. I'll put the metric version of that right here. That's really wide. Six foot four. So if you're six foot four, this car is as wide as you are tall. It's gonna be hard getting it on a trailer because most trailers are like seven feet wide. Um, We've got like four inches of wiggle room on either side, so it'll be fine. At 76 and three quarters inches, I believe that this is the widest Audi ever built. I'm not sure if that's real or not, so if it's not, comment below and tell me. I don't know what the Group B ones were with the big box flares, but I'm not sure that they were that wide. So, we might have the widest Audi ever on our hands right here, and it definitely looks like it. Alright, anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are as excited about this stage of the build as I am, because this is a huge huge step for this build. It has taken so much time. Thank you so much for sticking with me, for watching all the episodes, for keeping up to date on Instagram, for messaging me with questions and ideas and parts for some of you guys that have sent parts. It has been incredible. To answer one question, yes, the exhaust is going to go. I painted it for a reason because I don't care about it. It's going to get cut off. We're going to get a bigger one because you have to have big everything. <laughs> like this car is it just doesn't look right with this tiny exhaust. So we will get a bigger exhaust. All right, so enough talking. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe because this is about to get really exciting. We're livering this thing up, if that's even a word. We're going to put exhaust in it. We're going to make it loud. We're going to make it fast. And then we're going to give it away to somebody 
for free. So it's gonna be really fun. All of the giveaway stuff is coming up soon. Whenever this thing gets done, I'll announce the rules. So I'm not announcing them yet. I've got a plan in place now. It's gonna be good, it's gonna work, but I wanna make sure that this car is absolutely done so no curveballs get thrown or anything like that. All right, anyway, that's enough talking. Let's cut to some kind of cool video montage thing with a beat in the background. See ya. Perfect. Perfect.